Hello there. I have four magnets here. This is uh, four magnets in an acrylic holder uh, with tape over the top. Um, they're all all the similar poles are up. I'm going to stick it under the ferrocell. I'm going to put my little uh, piece of black cloth. Looks like a little round one there. I've decreased the power of this ferro cell. I've uh, put a, I took the 12 volt power supply off, but I put a 9 volt on it. And you can see how it's, this uh, magnet, it squares off there when it gets close. And it's round there. And these are all the same poles up, so it should be like one magnet. But it's interesting. This ferro cell was made without mouse milk. This ferro cell was made with uh, baby oil and ferrofluid. Looks pretty good. Now let's try another magnet. Yeah, this is this is a big ass. Long You know what? This ferro cell looks so nice. I don't know if uh, mouse milk is actually the best material. This is just sort of a test of the, look at this interesting stuff over here. See this is a line of magnets. Some people think that sticking magnets together gives you one big magnet. Well it doesn't give you one big magnet. Mag magnets are things that are individually magnetized. If you stick them together, the fields interlock, but they don't join. And I've, you know, after looking at magnetic fields in the ferro cell for like a year, and seeing how they don't join, and seeing how they actually push apart from each other. That is, you know, come making me think that. Looking at this with my eyes, this is a good four inches deep. <laughs> wow, this goes almost all the way down to the table. I'm going to make a quadrupole magnet here. You know, baby oil seems to work quite well. And there you notice. Know,
notice with four magnets the uh, the fields are pushed apart from each other because the magnets although they're joined their fields actually push apart you see how the uh, mag that, that vortex is pushed out to the corners of the magnet the reason is because in the way I think about it is that the magnet wants to fully expand its field it does fully expand its field however it can't go through the other fields so in between the poles there is a dielectric plane as you can see the uh, ferroparticles diverge and they, they want to expand but they can't expand so they expand against the walls and that pushes that little vortexy thing out Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking at this thing and it's really, really nice. I'm looking at it with my eyes and not looking through the camera. Well, this is just basically a test of uh, using baby oil. And I figure I'd make a nice little movie here. The movie, yes. I am old. No, in the video. Yeah. Anyways. Just figured I'd uh, show that. I really like baby oil. Maybe I should try making it with baby oil, 50-50 baby oil and mouse milk and see what happens. Because this really, really does look nice. Okay. Goodbye.